everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jared's Bullvet and Podly.com. Um, these two kittens are two of four that we did today at, um, as a TNR, so that's trap, neuter, and release. These two are females, so they have been spayed. Um, these two are males. Um, one of the things that we see not uncommonly is this kitten came in and neither of his testicles have made it into the scrotum. So you have a scrotum um, and the testicles should descend from the abdomen and go into the scrotum. Typically we see that um, within about two months, uh, these guys are about three and a half, four months old. His litter mate was neutered today, so his testicles had made it to his scrotum and we removed them. So he has been neutered and then we gave him an ear tip, so that indicates that he's been neutered. He was also vaccinated. Vaccinated, um, and then we dewormed him too. Typically, we give kittens and dogs about seven to eight months for those testes to make it down to the scrotum. If they do not make it down there, you have to kind of go fishing for them. So we will do an abdominal exploratory to find those um, testicles and then ligate them, and then we will consider that kitten neutered. So he did not get ear tipped today because he is not neutered. We are going to keep an eye on him over the next couple of months, and if those if those um, testes don't make it down to the scrotum, we will have to go do an abdominal exploratory. Um, you know, the difference between doing a traditional neuter and doing an exploratory to go look for those testes is, is, is quite different. Um, it's the difference between an external surgery, so a neuter here is about $60. Um, an exploratory to find a retained testicle can be somewhere between $200 to $800 in a dog. It really can take quite a lot of time. It's very important that you go looking for that retained testicle because if it stays in the abdomen, it can get hotter than it's supposed to be. They are supposed to stay outside of the body, which is where they stay cooler. Um, and quite often, unfortunately, those retained testicles will become cancerous, and then it's a very poor prognosis that that happens. So if you've got a cat or a dog or a puppy or a kitten that hasn't... Um, hasn't had those testes to stand down to the scrotum. Give them a couple of months. Usually I give them till they're about six or seven months old. And then if they're not there, do an exploratory surgery and go find them. Um, so we are going to hold on to this guy for a couple of months, hope that they descend. And if they don't, we'll go do an, an abdominal exploratory on him. Um, please support TNR. It's a really great way for us to save these kittens. Um, you know, if you have a dog or a cat that has a retained testicle, talk to your vet about it and come up with a plan initially so that you can address anything that might come up. Um, and give them till they're about eight or nine months old and then go look for them. That's it. If you guys need anything, I'll be at pobbly.com. Take care. Bye.